Hello guys, as promised, I am sharing my latest beauty basket. I have been sucking <laughs> at um, updating my beauty basket, honestly, for the last few weeks, and it was time to switch the products around. So I went ahead and shopped my stash. Um, I pulled what I wanted from my Alex 9 drawer unit over here. If you are curious what is currently in there in terms of um, makeup that I am actively using, uh, I will go ahead and list um, a video down below that will show you everything that I have in my current makeup collection. So uh, let's see what we have here. So I'm going to go ahead and get started and let me just turn that dinger off. Hi Lisa. <laughs> Um, let's get started up here with the palettes that I pulled. The first one is the is a, is a Stila palette that I actually put together myself. So these are just some single eyeshadows. I honestly don't remember the names, but they are, there's some good colors. Um, so I'm going to try using these. I haven't used them in a while. The Too Faced Sweet Peach palette, I just kind of felt like that was a good one to pull out because... I'm ready for some brighter, more springy makeup looks, and there's a few shades in here that I am looking to use. I also have this palette. I'm not going to open it. You guys will see it in a haul on Thursday, I believe. When am I putting that up? Yep. Uh, Thursday. So it is the Zoeva on Taupe palette. So... Keep an eye out for that video. I will be doing a tutorial with that one. And then the last sort of palette item that I pulled is the Tarte um, Limited Edition Holiday Blush Palette that they came out with this past year. So good, brighter, more springy blush colors, which I feel like I need to pick me up right now. So um, I'm trying to transition my makeup into some more brighter, more cheery colors. All right, let's come over here and let's start with, how about eyeshadow singles? I have two from Essence here, one from the I Heart Nude Collection, one from Cookies and Cream. This is a um, really light pink, which will be a pretty lid shade, and then this is obviously just a cream color, which is another pretty lid shade. I picked up the Milani um, Bella Taupe Eyeshadow. This is a really pretty crease color. I did keep Nutty from Wet n Wild in here. I also pulled out two of my NARS Dual Intensity in Rigel and Himalaya, or Himalaya. And then my must-have um, Wet n Wild Brulee, because I use this every day to set my eye primer. I almost need to grab a new one of those. Um, blushes over here that I pulled. This was the Sephora and Pantone Universe from 2013 or 14. It was the year that coral was a big deal, so love this one. Um, I also pulled out Flesh and Fantasy from Marc Jacobs again, because that's just gorgeous. I have a blush here from um, Corez. This is in the color pink. I'm not going to open these because I'm going to just be fumbling. This is my um, Marc Jacobs Instamark Mirage Filter. I use this to contour with. This, wow, this gets a lot of use, huh? Look how dirty this is. Sorry, that's probably disgusting. Uh, a few more blushes. I have one here from Essence from the Cookies and Cream collection. I have one from Laura Geller. This was from um, a kit that I purchased, Baked Gelato in Rosewater. Really pretty pink, bright shade. And then, oh, forgot one. Little guy here, Baby Love from Too Faced. And then um, I decided to keep my Becca highlighter in uh, Moonstone. Yes, Moonstone. <laughs> so anyway, those are the blushes that I pulled to be able to use. Um, let's do face products over here. I use this every day, single day. Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense from Paula's Choice. I have the Paula's Choice Primer in here. I have my Too Faced Eyeshadow Insurance Primer. I have my Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in G20. I have a powder foundation I am finishing using here. This is the uh, Creamy Confidence Powder Foundation from Too Faced. It's good. I'm really close to being done with it. This will be in my empties in March, so you can see there. Been using that very consistently, and actually, this also belongs in here. Um, this is Laura Geller Balance in Brighton and Fair. 
And then my beloved uh, by Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. Gosh, this stuff is fabulous. And I'm going through it. Oh, but I will replace this because it's amazing. I do have a concealer in here from Amazing Cosmetics for when I'm having a rough day <laughs> and need to conceal some under eye darkness. Um, this is their line smoother and primer. Um, so this sort of helps disguise things a little bit for me. And I still also have the pure hydrogel lift. This is also an under eye primer. Very lovely. Mascaras I'm currently going through. Um, and some of these are going to be done in the next couple weeks. I have the 100% Pure Maracuja, the Catrice Glam and Doll. This one is on its way out. It's starting to dry out. It is the Wander Beauty Unleashed Volume and Curl Mascara. really like this one. Oh, jeez. Uh, Paula's Choice Fantastic Lash. Love this one. This is, this is a fantastic mascara. This one I'm wearing today and I'm really liking it. It's the Pure Fully Charged. I've also done an in-depth review of this. I really like this one as well. The Edun um, Ultimate Volume Buildable Care Mascara. Really like this one too. And then, mm, I'm not using these right now. I don't know why they're in there. Let's take those out. I do have a YBF uh, eyebrow pencil. And then um, I also have my NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I don't know where it is. I will hunt that down. But I'm currently into using brow pencils again. And yes, I know I need to clean that out. I need to just take these out and go pop them in the dishwasher. So put that on my to-do list. There we go. Last thing we're going to talk through here are my lip products. So I decided to keep two of my Bite Beauty lipsticks in here because I'm just loving wearing them. Sugar Cane and Meringue. This I can't be without. The Brazilian Kiss Lip Butter. Love that. Okay, why am I... This is so hard for me today, you guys. Oh boy. Uh, I have two Marc Jacobs Enamored Lip Glosses in here. One in Sugar Sugar and the other one is Pretty Thing. So love both of those. Wow, I am so sorry, you guys. I am just not great at this recording thing today. Hopefully I'm not making you too sick. Okay. Um, Baume de Rose by Terry. Love that. Kathy from Too Faced. La Creme Lipstick. Couple of minis here. So these are the Gen Nude Lipsticks. These were just some limited edition samples. So I have Sex Pot, Nudist, and XOX. Be using those. I have two of my lip injections from little kits that I got for Christmas. Um, one is in clear. You can tell I obviously was putting that over a pink uh, lip. <laughs> and the other one is Milkshake. So a nice nude and a clear. And then the last two is a Laura Geller um, Luscious Lips Lipstick in the color Peach Buttercream, although it's just pink, and then um, my beloved White Russian. Love that. So, that's it. Those are the things that I'm going to be using for the next couple of weeks. Thank you guys for your patience with this very shoddy camera work. <laughs> Um, you will be seeing these items probably in weekly favorites coming up here. I promise to try to change this out in about two weeks and update you guys on a new round of products. So thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new and I hope you have a great rest of your Sunday. Take care. Bye-bye.